Hey guys, RC here, back with Graveyard Keeper, episode 18. So I have played ahead a little bit. Uh, as we go around, you will probably see some uh, some new things that we have done. Uh, nothing major, nothing major. Oh well, there is one thing major. Let's uh, let's enter into here. So we've added a second barrel in here for fermenting. And if we head over this way, oh, we've added in a, uh, oh, we have a corpse in there. I forgot about that. Let's go grab it real quick. And we'll take a gander at the body. All right, that'll be a good one. So we can pull the fat. Pull the blood. And then we can take that body is it sacrilegious to cut through the church with a corpse I don't know the answer all right we're gonna come up into the church here notice anything about the church it's a little bit bigger it looks like look at that whoa <laughs> all right I think we dug somebody up did we not yeah, right there, I believe. All right, bury him in. We have made some, I made a bunch more headstones. I think I need to still make some fencing. Yeah, I've only got a couple of those. All right, so let's take a quick look at our NPCs here uh, for the bishop. So we have to reach 50. Uh, at the church and 200 at the graveyard currently we're at 86 we have opened up uh, the west side of the graveyard here oh you know what I need to pick that up wow okay not the easiest thing to do is to we talked about that going left to right <laughs> not the easiest thing to do so much easier going north south with this <clears throat> and I do need some more wood uh, you'll notice we have some rock going on in here and you may be going hey RC how are you doing that well good question uh, so we've got, uh, oh, look at this. We've got a lot of ore going up in here too. Interesting. So let's pop up to the quarry real quick. So of course we had built this last time and we had our first zombie filling up the rock, correct? Well, look at that. We have a porter here. There he is, Mr. Porter, and he will pick up rock and iron and he will take it to our base so these guys are now working and getting stuff over to us I don't have to really come out here and break that rock up myself so that's good still have to come out here to get the uh, the coal if I would like that and we have opened up the ability to repair the ap apiary now with the uh, for the bees down here. So we cleaned that up last time. And we have to have 10 bees. So I still have to gather some bees on occasion. So I guess as I hit these, I do need to make sure I'm doing that got three honey did I get any bees out of that I did not all right well that doesn't do me any good the honey will be helpful but still all right so that's new and then of course the church got expanded so we've gone in and we have let's drop this honey off uh, we are making a lot of bread to sell 
and we are up to well i'm down to two silver uh because we did spend the 20 silver needed to buy the building ex certificate to expand the church so now we're into that next phase uh, one of the things i did learn uh, the game has supply and demand built in. So if you sell a large quantity of goods to a vendor, uh, then when you go back to sell to them again, the amount they will offer you will drop because you have to give them time to sell it to other people in the village or whatever. And then the price will go back up. So instead of selling a stack of 20, maybe only sell five, uh, you know, sell a couple you know and you have to kind of sell to everybody so you know your burial certificates uh maybe a couple of uh types of uh, cooked meals to the to the uh, bartender uh, you can sell some crops to the farmer you can go fishing and sell fish to the uh to the fisherman over at the lighthouse so it's just you know it's just a you know going around and around uh, but let's see. So let's catch up on these. All right. So we have to work on the laser. We have to get acid, which I don't know how to get yet. I have to build a snack tent. But then also I have to be, uh, be able to stock that with burgers. So what is the recipe for burgers? And do I have a recipe? Doesn't appear to be. All right, well, we did just get another corpse, so let's head down to the morgue. And then again, right at nightfall is when the donkey brings the new corpses. As long as we have the carrots out now that we've opened up that part of the storyline. So what you have to kind of decide now is we want really just high quality bodies to boost the um, benefits to the graveyard, right? So basically only anything that we can make basically a perfect body maybe. Anything else we want to start getting meat from for the burgers, I think we need to figure out how to make those. And also... Um, making them into zombies because we are going to want uh, more workstations and things of that nature all right where we're going to put him here oh no all right we're going to lift him up i broke my shovel damn it let me go get that fixed and we'll be right back, but I don't want the body to decay. So we're going to leave him there. All right, our shovel broke. So let's get that fixed. And let's check. Yeah, let's go ahead and fix our axe too while we're here. And why not the pickaxe? You don't have to do it and I don't know if it not not an, oh, okay i was thinking i broke the uh broke the whetstone all right where is my whetstone all right, we're gonna drop off you guys where is the whetstone there it is. All right, so the whetstone's at 55%. So I guess, you know, I, I'm assuming, this is just an assumption, that every time you use it, it uses a certain percentage. So you would be, and it doesn't matter how much you repair. So I want to say I've read somewhere that the kind of guideline is let it get down to below, t you know, 10% or less on your tool before you spend the whetstone points to fix it so i've already plopped that corpse down once i don't think it'll make a huge difference all right let's go ahead and grab that 
So now you can see the jump from 50 to 200 points is pretty huge, right? So uh, where was I burying this guy? Oh, right here. So we want to make sure that we're maximizing as best we can. for the best improvement to the graveyard. So now you can see we've got a plus six corpse there. Now this guy is a plus four, but we're only netting plus two and we have some lower end. So we may want to disinter him. I don't want to do it right now, but, but this is some stuff we're going to certainly want to upgrade all of these plus twos and plus ones, we're gonna to wanna to turn those into these plus threes uh, or even plus fours. And that's what you wanna kinda of do if you get a corpse that maybe isn't quite as good um, is, is use the plus fours, even though they do cost more to, uh, to deal with. So that'll be something I'll do. I'll just kinda of bring one or two over every time we head back from there just to slowly clear that out. Um, oh, I did find out uh, over here, this is where we can build the logging site. Uh, in fact, that may not be a bad idea. What, um, let's pop over here and see what we need to build because I think we uh, yeah we unlock the ability to do a zombie farm so all right so we need five planks three simple iron parts and ten nails that's to make the farm but anything zombie related should be close to that. Oh, and there's our little guy. He's brought some more stuff over here. All right, so we want simple iron parts, nails, and planks. Let's see if we have anything else in here. Our chisel's uh, about to run out. I wonder if I can repair that. Um doesn't appear let's uh let's put that in our inventory and then and then look no all right so the the chisel's a one-time use when it runs out you have to make a new one fair enough uh let's see anything else in here all right so we need i'm gonna go ahead and make six planks All right, and then I've got some nails, but let's make let's make two batches of nails just to make sure we've got enough. And then I want I'm going to go ahead and make two batches of simple iron parts. We then use those to make complex if we need them, right? Now, I think I want to wait till daytime to do this so let's let's come over here and trying to see if we've got any of these that we can break up not there I may not oh I didn't pick those up did I no nah, I did not that's okay all right, um, let's go ahead and call it a night because I want to go see about building that air, that woodcutters, and then that'll fix fix our woodcutting for the most part. Not in a rush to do that, really, because we do have all the wood over at uh, at the church to do. I could have taken the tunnel, but it is what it is. I really don't want to 
beheading. I don't think there's anything that'll attack us here. Uh, we just pet. We're on the Inquisitor day, but we don't have the the burger van set up uh, or the snack tent or whatever they call it. I always think of the burger van from uh, a football manager. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can run in here. And we can... The new church is a big deal. Okay, here we go. Something new. I'll add more rooms and tables, which should lead to more people coming to the... Um, to the church possibly all right so four silver for that and the bodies is your biggest money maker right now I mean just you know there are some other things you can sell all right where do we want to go okay we haven't been up here I don't think so that's where we want to go now there may be creatures out there is it this one yeah I think so let's go up this way so I need to uncover some of this area that's shrouded by the fog of war So we are just going to mosey. Oh, what's this? Who is that? What is this dude doing? That's a wonderful smell. My kebab. And bring me some good fish fillets and I'll teach you. Okay. So four silver star fish fillets. All right. So there's a new quest. What's this place? To the mountain fort. All right. So there's a camp. Hmm. All right. I'm, re I'm not sure where it is I'm looking for. I just know it's out in this direction somewhere. What is this? Anything? No? Okay. Well, we do know there was a lighthouse out here on the southern area, correct? So I'm just looking to see if we can unlock or open anything new oh a new pier sweet let's fish here I don't know what we can fish for let's every every fishing spot is a different type of fish so let's figure that out and we got an anchovy okay I'm only gonna catch two and then we'll get out of here because I do want to go see about the uh, the wood the wood sawmill. All right, another anchovy. Are they any particular quality? No, no qualities. So let's All right, doesn't look like anything there. There's dig. While we're right here, we'll go ahead and grab our apples, right? No, I don't want the rocks. Hopefully you planted your trees down here. Let's trade two anchovies, and that's a simple fishing rod. 
All right, so we do need to sell him some stuff to get the next one unlocked. So we need to sell more. All right, so I need to go fishing. We need to make some fish fillets because he'll buy fish fillets. So that might be a way to get some money. All right, well, let me get back to the village here and we'll go up that other road. So I will see you guys back here in just a second. All right, we're right here in the village. So I know if we came up, we came up this way before. We've got the cows here, milk, wood. Oh, is this something we can do here? There's a sign. No? Let's come farther up. Oh, here we go. What is this? Don't even think about it. What if I bought you one? Alright, so bring him an iron axe. An iron axe. I have a nicer axe for you. Slow releasing carbs. Lentils. Okay, so there's a couple of new pastas. But we're supposed to be able to make a woodcutter out here somewhere. Oh, this must be that fort that we passed up the other way. Hmm. So I wonder let's wander over this side just to see if we see anything. Because we'd have to be able to find one of those like blue building locations, right? And I don't see anything. All right, let's go while we're here. Let's go talk to Horatio. Wonder if this guy sells bees. He does. And they are 20 copper a piece. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy those. That'll be able to build one apiary. So now I'm a little confused. So that guy says he bought the rights from the village. So everything in the village has been from Horatio. Um, not seeing anything there. I wonder, let's check our technologies. So this would be farming and nature, I'm pretty sure. No, that would have to be building. All right, there's zombie mining. Zombie woodcutting. We've already opened it. All right, I tell you what. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check out how or where to build that. Okay, I think I have discovered the problem. I was in the wrong area. Okay, I don't know why I thought it said by the village, but it, it's by the river. So the river is, you'll remember, just to the west or to the left of the um, church and near the quarry. So we have to go over that way. All right, so let's, let's work through the night here. I am gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. And then we'll be back in the morning and go up to that new area. 
All right, we're getting on towards daybreak. Hopefully the bats are gone. If they're not, we'll fight them all. Yeah, they look like they cleared out. All right, so if we look over here, So we've got this river, and remember they said the river was dry. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, over here, the river. So this forest near the river, this is the area that we wanna build in. So we just came up here, so we have the, the bridge, so we wanna go past that area. So that's gonna be up in this area here. And we're looking for a sign. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I wonder. Was it this one here? I remember we read this one a while back. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, the big tree sawmill. Remember we read that and it said, I wonder how much wood I could get out of that tree if I had somebody that never got tired. And we, a zombie. All right, so we need 12 filch and an axe. All right, so let me get back to the house. So we need to make another axe for sure. All right, and we need 12 filch. All right, let's get back up there. All right, hopefully I got everything. All right, build a sawmill. All right, that works for me. And this is our little zombie, um, I guess. Okay, I am not doing that. So I guess I need to put a zombie in there. So this might be a good one to go dig up one of those corpses and see if we can convert it but we'll have to do that next episode because it is time for a break so uh, let me know what you guys are thinking uh, as i said with uh, with this game we're doing a lot of repetition right now so uh you know a little bit of new stuff today because i had played ahead for a little while so that's kind of going to be the mo for this game moving forward is I will get to a point where there's looks like some new stuff or I've gotten some new stuff and we'll take a look at it together and uh, then we'll go from there. So what I need to do now is I want to, like this corpse needs to probably come out for sure. So I need to figure out uh, if I can exhume some of these, bring them over, convert them into uh, zombies, uh, start start developing my zombies through, uh, you know, to, to expand some stuff out. Uh, but anyway, we will uh, work on that moving forward. So uh, again, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking, if you're liking what you see. And uh, we will go from there. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out here in the graveyard. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.